Hey y'all, I've got a few home projects I want to get done today, so I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all what I have picked out on today's agenda. I don't know, like I feel pretty confident that we could get to all of this today, but if I miss something today, most likely it's going to be in tomorrow's video because we have lots to do, okay? So we've got one, this huge outdoor flag that says home sweet home this is so pretty um so we're gonna i'm gonna get erin to hook that thing up for me um with this it is a it's the thing you know <laughs> a flagpole <laughs> six foot so um he will help with that then i've got black Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch um, Ultra Cover Paint and Primer for wood, metal, plastic, and more. And then I've also got this. Um, oh my, I found the color the other day. Metallic Champagne Bronze. So this matches the hardware on that black uh, little side table that I showed y'all the other day. And I'm wanting to kind of like, I guess, refurbish, if you will, this. Um, it is a side table. It's not technically a coffee table, but I'm using it as a coffee table. Um, basically, like just a table that goes in the middle of the, of the room, in the living room. A few people said that they do not like, actually a lot of people said they don't like that idea. But um, I do, so I still want to do it. Um, and it will give me something to do today, and it's going to be fun. So we're going to use these. If for some reason we decide we don't want this table in here in the future, it would just be a really nice refurbished table that we could put somewhere else in our house, like maybe Erin's office. Um, but for now, I, I like it being in the living room. Um, it's nice to have to like sit things down on. Okay, I literally just did it. All right. There is also a spray can tool so this helps you like grip and like do the paint which is really nice because I shouldn't get like as much of a mess which I'm normally pretty good with spray paint but um if, if there's like drips and stuff that should help kind of take care of that we've got our painter's tape and then another so three projects another project I want to do is take some of this wallpaper I have two different kinds there's one that is kind of got like a darker background, but it's still floral, which I'm planning to do something with in my office. And then there's this one that's lighter and really pretty. So I'm going to be using these. I've wanted to do this for a long time, and I know I can use these for that. Under cabinets. So they have like it's not the pretty plywood that looks like a piece of wood it's the it's the subfloor that just looks like a bunch of pieces of wood chips kind of molded together into a piece of wood that you can use so it works it's fine a lot of people just paint over that like my mom's house has a lot of that um because she used it as like walls and she just painted over hers a dark brown and you can't even tell that that's what it is so i've also heard a lot of people doing that lately because flooring is so expensive that they just put the sub floor down and then they paint over it so there you go um but i want to use these it's kind of like uh cabinet liners and the fact that they stick makes it even better because they won't move around i have a clear one from walmart that i got that just rolls out and then it's just like a protector um but every time i move my pots and pans in there it moves around with them so these are going to be perfect for that also if for any reason we get a link a leak in our faucet in our sink this creates somewhat of a barrier it's not going to be like it's not going to help you know it's probably not water like eventually water will get through it but it will help protect that wood that's underneath so exciting all right i ramble a lot 
I'm putting my hair up and we're getting this table outside because that's the first thing I want to do today. Here is the table and that's the true color. It's dark. And my plan is to get this to match this. So that's why we've got the black and the gold. Someone said to paint the handles on these gold and they are. It might not have looked like it in my video the other day, but they are gold. So pretty excited oh someone else said to tape off you know like the glass and the the wood right there and then paint this strip gold and I really like that idea so we'll do that another day all right Chloe are you my audience we're gonna get busy today what you think we'll sit in the window <laughs> Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Alright y'all, so I just sat here for a few minutes playing with the tape and then Aaron and I talked so we came up with a different plan. So he suggested to just paint the whole thing black because that's our like, that's the bulk of it. And then to go back in once everything's dry and tape off pretty much everything except for these little things you know on the inside those are going to be gold so we're going to go ahead and get this thing outside and start spray painting it black i did do a few coats and i'm really happy with the outcome especially because i did not sand this down and i still like how it turns out there is a spot that somehow i still missed <laughs> It was so bright today outside like it's so bright that it's kind of blinding and with this already being like a very dark Cherry color. It was hard to tell what I had painted and what I had not <laughs> And I know there's so much more to this life But it's hard to see
All right, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before I go in and do any more to the black. Aaron got the flag on here. He's gonna get his lighter and then we're gonna find a place to put it outside. I just got done doing the second coat of black spray paint. I am going to head to Food Line real quick um, because we're having steak tonight, but we don't really have anything to go with it. So I'm gonna get potatoes to go with it because we like having baked potatoes. And so I'll see y'all back here um, when I get back from the grocery store. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just got back from the store. I brought this in, one, because pollen, and two, I needed different lighting so I could see if there was parts where I missed, and I did. <laughs> There's so much brown right there, and then right there is what I could see, mostly. <sighs> it doesn't look brand new, but it does look better than it did. So, my plan, it says to wait... 24 hours before you put painter's tape on freshly painted surfaces so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna wait the 24 hours so um I'm trying to think most likely i will go back out there today with this and get right there and right there uh, that way i don't have to do it tomorrow but Oh, and maybe like right there. I'll probably just go over it one more time. If I get up early enough tomorrow, I could do both. All right, so let me go on to the next thing. We've got this right here. We also grabbed these at Family Dollars. This is what I'm gonna do right now because it's really fast. I'm just gonna see if they fit ours. And if they do, we can go back and get two more because these were six dollars and fifteen cents for the set of two hi chloe she's over there crying I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, cause we had bought some that I think were, were they too big? The other ones? Because the, or was it these that we purchased? Yeah, it's the I eyes. was getting confused. It's the eyes. Okay, so that's a new eye. So we'll see. Let's see what you mean. That's the old eye. Better. It's not 100% not perfect, but it's definitely better. Okay. So, should I put the new one here then? The new eye? Yeah, that one's not new. I got another new one somewhere. I took it out because it didn't fit. Yeah, this one's the new one. Okay, I was so confused. Okay, we put the old one back on um, because this one was not, it, it fit, but it, it was touching the, touching this. So, we'll just stick that back over there. Okay, so now. We're just, I'm just going to have to get some, those were cheaper ones. I'm going to have to just buy some expensive ones. Oh. Exactly for the stove. These. So, yeah. Or, or go okay. buy the other pans, which. Um, okay. All right, I'll go ahead and do this with you. Um, I grabbed some aluminum foil at Food Line. My goodness, this stuff is getting pricey. I remember when this one, it's like, maybe it was a 25 foot one. Anyway, they used to be a dollar or something. Now they're like $3 and some change. And the big one is 
six dollars in here. We are doing our potatoes. Huh? I can do them on the grill if you want, but it's there. I can put them in here. I know it's going to take a long time on the grill. And the other stuff will be done before I. I still want to put up the leg. Oh. We're talking about where to put the flag. I don't know if he knows I'm recording. Sorry. I'm fine with wherever you put it. I, I grabbed this butter. Also, it's the Food Line brand sweet cream butter salted. It's real butter. And there, oh, this is the sticks. I thought it was going to come out in a little tub like the other one. That'll be easier. I'm just going to rub this on the aluminum foil. So, we like to put butter on... I've just been putting it on the aluminum foil because the potato is going to get wrapped up in it anyways. But, Aaron likes to put butter on the outside of them before he cooks them. Butter and a little bit of tiny bit of salt. I don't know if I've been, yes, I have been doing the salt. Okay, this is salted. Anyway, I'm just kind of using the butter like a stick of glue and putting it on the aluminum foil. But I do. I don't even know what you said. Just the same slices of it all and figure in there with it. Okay. The pieces are drawn out. Well, that's what I wrap the butter around for. Yeah. <clears throat> very little. Okay. You want slices? The thin slices. I'll throw three slices, thin slices in there. And it's not gonna pour all out. I hope not. Oh. Like that? Yeah. Is that too much? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he said salt. We put rice in ours. Yeah. That came right out. Okay. Oh, and then I gotta poke, poke some holes in it. You do do that too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can, but I don't know if it matter. I think it's supposed to help it cook faster because it like it gets down in there. I'm not really sure. Or I just thought it was to prevent it from like busting. No. Uh. Like the pressure, it releases the steam. All right, I just did too. All right, butter's in the oven. Here. Potatoes are in the <laughs> Potatoes are in the oven. What <laughs> what next? Do you wanna start getting the ladder out for the flag? I mean I guess we should do that because everything else I'm doing is inside. I want to go back out there and spray paint where I messed up. Mm -hmm. What? Come here. Come here. Alright, I'm taking my thing back outside and spray painting it.
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take all this stuff out of here. And you can see that flooring that I was talking about. I'll show y'all before. Um, so that's what we're gonna put the peel and stick on. All right, y'all, I was just getting done reading my comments on this video where we organized. And one of you said that you stacked yours on top of each other. Let's see if that works. Okay, well. Ah! I don't know if this one's going to do it. <laughs> I may need to do it when it's full. I don't know. But I thought I would try it out. It, I, mine didn't come with lids on the top. That may be what it is. But I thought it was worth a shot. All right, here's the before. And y'all can see where we've already had a leak before and then we fixed it. So I'm pretty excited to cover this up. And then that side too. There's a bunch of paint. Looks like green paint. All righty. So my plan is to just get this vacuumed really good so that something can stick to it. All right, y'all, my plan for this, this is like one of those little fabric measuring things. Um, I'm just using this because I know it won't sling back at me. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do, maybe I should do it in this one so y'all can actually see. Okay, there you go. I'm just gonna measure this way to see um, how long it is, how long it's gonna go in there. And then I'm going to go get the wallpaper and cut out those measurements um, because I don't mind layering them and it doesn't have to be aligned with the pattern super well because um, things are going on top of it anyways. <laughs> it's really just to cover up this wood right here which like we were talking about earlier I think it was this video yeah um, People, I've seen people paint this before, too, so that's an option, but I'm just going to take this, put it back there, and we have about 23 and a quarter inch perfectly, and if there's any excess, I can just take my little box cutter and go across right here where this little uh, beam is, because I really need to just go in and paint this and I also need to paint my inside of my doors white so um that they just look cleaner because they don't they're not dirty but they look dirty when they're unfinished like this because y'all can see like where the paint is and stuff so since we're making things look nicer might as well go the mile right <laughs> y'all are changing me okay oh let's do this After we get done doing this, we're going to go outside and grill. I, Aaron's already out there. Here is the flag. Let me hold it up for y'all so you can get a, an idea. My camera's about to die anyway. So, we did kind of decide a couple of things. But, we also decided that today is not the right day. Aaron's not ready yet. But, here it is. 
and it's on the pole this is like a six foot pole by the way so it kind of hangs like that and then you get to see your flag so we've had the idea to put it on the side of the house and then another idea is once we get done with our deck on the back of the house we could put it off the deck which I love that idea better so I may save this for a back porch makeover because I'm gonna get furniture too for the back porch but there this is okay let's do the other All right, y'all, I had a great experience with this wallpaper. I accidentally put it on upside down at first, so I had to take it completely off and then replace it. And it's so, like, mistake-friendly. If you get something wrong, you can just take it off and then tweak it and put it back down, and it's still going to stick. So, highly recommend. If I can find this, I will link it for y'all. Um, in case you are on the hunt for some really good wallpaper or you want to use this as contact paper. Oh my gosh. How fun. This is awesome. Look how pretty that is too. I love the pink and blue. Love it. Anyways, um, I had put it upside down <laughs> the first time. So next time let's make sure I can do this correctly. By the way, um, really easy to work with. If I can find this, I'll link it. This was this is a million times easier to work with than that banana leaf I had put in our bathroom. So look how cute go ahead so this is a Aaron love stuff That's like this mean. yeah this and there's something in there um maybe it's this to like cut the excess with but it's a kit for vinyl wrapping so we're gonna use it That's nice. this is like a this is like a magic eraser oh and that's like salt ah cool it came with a measuring thing y'all and this little roller right here oh yeah this is a bag to put all the stuff in good so we don't even need this part that's nice because that has a zipper on it um so yeah we'll go ahead and do that i'm just gonna use this and then this to help me cut the excess off I'm almost ready to put food on. Okay. Like now or? I'm almost ready to put food on. Okay, well I can, I can go out there and do that. And then finish my project. 
they know it's real life over here they like it that way <laughs> they like it that way it's more fun for them you can use this too though okay it on. yeah since it is kind of like a textured mm. yeah that would be good this might this might be i'll go off i'll go with this and then i'll this go in with a roller bubble stuff out if you get air around it yeah. Oh, so this isn't. Oh, shoot. No, this is, this is a I don't know water. what this. What's this then? <gasps> so that that would work way better than what I had done, like using the scissors. Cause it's the kind of thing you go straight across. Zoom it. Okay, so I don't think there's any bubbles in here, but I'm just going to use this. I just want to make sure that any like divots there are get pushed down. Look how good I was with my cut, y'all. It went right where I thought it was. I'm just going to have to trim it right here. But otherwise, really good. I had a plumber's crack and he said, fill in the crack. I know we're all adults here. <laughs> Anyways, we're going outside now, okay? It's a pretty day. Let's let's cook out there and then I'm gonna come back and finish this cabinet. Then another day, we will do this cabinet right here because it also needs to be done in our bathroom cabinets. Like, I have a lot of places to put this wallpaper, a lot. Okay, so our little grill master over here. Well, our is that it's little mean. I don't know. Anyways, it's a nice thing. Okay, Italian sausage, and then there's our steaks. He marinated them in this um, seasoning right here, brown sugar bourbon, and wash your sister sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Wish that steak sauce, but we didn't have any. <laughs> Okie dokie. I usually add some of that with it too. And I had to put the potatoes um, on a pan because we put so much butter that the butter was melting and then going on to the bottom and creating smoke. So what you said when you were like, I think something's burning. And that's like, well, the oven's on. I think it was the oven. Okay, dokie. I also found this. It's a uh, wood glue down here. Oh, that's right. Thank you for. There's that one, and then that big giant one is normally under there. The, the claw looking one. I'll use this one. This one is be clean. Okay. You want to use this I'll, one? I'll use this one. This one doesn't make my hand hot. Oh. Well, let me wash it. All right, so I know y'all want us to fix the faucet. We've actually been looking at other faucets and sinks. I'm sure we could just buy one at a time, like buy the faucet first and then buy the sink if we wanted to. Um, because did y'all know faucets are like about the same price as the sink? <laughs> Anyways, it's, I don't know 
this is the warm water. I think it's this one. One of these. Um, those have like valves inside of them and they're not the ones you can take apart and put O-rings in. Yeah. So you have to buy the whole valve and I don't even know if they sell them. And I don't take it out and try it, but I might just buy another one. Yeah. I was bringing the camera closer because sometimes they have a hard time hearing. I think it might be better just to buy a new one. We want one that's tall anyway because this sink is kind of shallow. shallow. And um, just, I know it's like some of y'all think it's wasteful, which is, is true. Um, our water bill is never uh, over like $18. So it's not costing us much at all. Um, before the leak, I think our water bill was like um, still 15 yeah. So, it's just a few dollars. Anyways, um, they, black, we were looking at black ones because a lot of our stuff is black in here. And then I have some really nice ones there. And I have no idea about that one, but you sent me one where it had like all these different contraptions on it. Yeah, I think it's got to have the sink with that one. Yeah. Because it's got sprayers and it's, inside the sink. It's like a smart sink. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if that's a thing, but if a, if a sink was a smart appliance, that's it would be that. All right, so let's go outside. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this video because I feel like we've just talked pretty much the whole time. <laughs> but well, of course you do because everybody always says that they do like the talking more. Here's the steak. I know what that is. Yeah. I bought Aaron this one year. It was like 2020 or 20. Yeah, it was when everything was going down. And so we were buying like a bunch of stuff that's good for if you ever needed to cook outside. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Because the one under it is a little messed up. It was real rusty. So that works out because he was using a much smaller he was yeah, those, using those, those are rusty too. so this is better now you don't have to move the little black thing around you can just move the food i'm gonna bring chloe out here too they can see you real good might scoot it back a little bit more you're taller
<laughs> I'm editing this and I <laughs> Aaron says he said the wind blew away my marinade. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm still laughing. Go back and look at his face. <laughs> That's the face he gives me every time I open my mouth. <laughs> it's a. Uh, I can't believe this woman. <laughs> He couldn't believe that ball. <laughs>
we are just about done with this cabinet. I'm just going around and cleaning up all the edges and then going in with that um, thing, the red thing, to make sure it's all straightened out and there's no bubbles. Um, and then I'll show y'all what it looks like in the after. But because we didn't get to in putting the flag up today, I decided to install these under the cabinet lights and y'all are going to be so amazed at the difference it makes and i am going to look these up i bet you these are super budget friendly so i'm actually going to do that right now and i'll let you know how much these under cabinet lightings are because this was such an easy thing to do it took like 10 minutes made such a difference in our kitchen so here's what the under the cabinets look like i'm so impressed with this how fun it looks so cute um so yeah i'm now i'm excited to do the other ones like this we have two bathrooms and then the other cabinets in our kitchen so i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of declutter and organize everything before I put it back in and then I'll show y'all what it looks like after and then I'm gonna hop on Amazon and see if I can find a price for this lighting to let y'all know if it's budget friendly or not but I'm pretty sure it is okay I found the lighting y'all it is an eight piece warm white flexible LED strip lights with remote 13 feet um and it's only $13.59 and then if you want 16 and a half feet, it's $22. Um, this completely changed the way our kitchen looks and how much light we get, especially near the stove and where the microwave is. So that's the next project we're going to be doing after I get this organized. All right, so before I get to the lights, I just wanted to clean up after what the projects we had done today and also from dinner. And then I'm going to get to the lights. And that way, when I show y'all the difference, you get to see like what it looks like when the kitchen is all clean and not cluttered. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Cause without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free my eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you When you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed 
Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me No one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do Without you Ooh, Without you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I am done cleaning, so here are the lights. The brand is um, La Fluid. <laughs> I'll leave the link down below. But um, these are remote control. They're really nice. Aaron and I were talking about how we wanted to lay these out. So at first he was saying to do a loop to see if we could get two rows. But y'all, these emit so much light that you can just do one strand all the way across so if you've got a bigger kitchen or you've got a, a room that you want to put lights around these would be great for that um so yeah i'm just going to start uh we have an extra plug outlet behind the refrigerator so i plugged it in back behind there so that the cord wouldn't be as visible and then I just started going across up underneath our, um, with a, whatever that thing is, the fan above the stove. And then I went all the way to the end of this cabinet right here. And I just love how it comes out. I, Y'all can already see it now. It looks so different. Y'all know this area was so dark before. Like, even on the brightest day, it's still so dark back there. So these lights really just transform that corner. The cats have been really good about not getting on the countertops lately, but anytime we do something new in the house, they are so curious, especially with these bright lights. Lucy was really wanting to know what was going on when she had to be up there looking in the front row seats.
right, the lights are done. That probably took me maybe 10 minutes to put on. Um, but look how nice it is. It's so bright. Like, look at the difference between on and off. And then there's like different settings. And we'll also show y'all what it looks like with our lights off. So it's really nice to have these on. We could um, have all the lights off and still have a little bit of light on, especially if we're watching a movie or something and we don't want to have all the big bright lights on. This just makes the kitchen so cozy. It's also going to make cooking on film a lot better. Y'all are going to be able to see much brighter over here. So this is probably one of the most exciting things we've done. <laughs> because of just how much of a difference it is and at like a super budget friendly price so i love i love those types of um diys and stuff that everybody can do so how fun okay y'all i'll see you tomorrow bye